generic greetings and welcome back to another brick in the mall in the previous episode we essentially went through the tutorial and built this little corner store here it's got a couple of basic things in it it's all your high turnover items essentially so milk eggs bread um, a couple of canned foods uh, toiletries things like that and that's you know making some money but we are still going down but it's okay we put in this fairly large car park, which is now doing the job quite nicely. And I think it actually looks okay as well with these little gaps either side. That's cool. And then we worked out that we we're going to do a frozen food store here. So what we'll be doing this episode is finishing this off and probably building another store maybe down the bottom here. So let's just go to build and then over to objects. And we need to firstly have a door, which actually I won't put the door in first. I'll put the checkout counters in first. It'll be one, two, and then three. And over to door again which will go there that's fine and then two freezers or fridges and freezers which is there and we'll have one two three four one two three four four and you guessed it one two three four now that's actually two more than we originally planned but i say originally planned i planned this out uh excessively and then pretty much ignored most of what well, I, plan I planned it out excessively and then the size of it ended up to be pretty much the same size as that. In fact, it is the same size as that. Not pretty much. It is the same size as this one. So, yes, problematic. Anyway, we'll go back over to build here. Go to road work. Go to road. And then we'll actually have a road coming along like so. And then we'll have customer parking here and then a loading zone there. Now, I won't be putting the same thing around here. This will be just one big store where we'll have an entrance in here, here, and then probably the bottom. This will be our clothing store, I think. Speaking of that, let's go to research. We can see that we've researched the basics, which you get at the start of the game. Uh, cold chain, frozen food supplier, and we're currently going for restrooms, which obviously this thing doesn't have. So we don't have changing rooms either. They don't exist, but there's a lot of things that don't exist in the game. If we're going to go through all the things that don't exist we'll be here for quite some time anyway what i want to do is go over to manage and i want to actually actually no i don't sorry i want to assign first assign that uh that is a store like so and then this as storage like so then over to manage click on our storage and change this as uh g storage two because i'm gonna Chain, change that. That's Goss. I'm going to change that. That was generic outlet storage. I'm going to change this to G storage one. There we go. So storage one goes up to the generic outlet. This one is G storage two. We'll have the store as the G frozen. Don't even need the. Don't even need the one in there, really. That's just generic outlet. G outlet and the. Uh, the frozen outlet. There we are. Right, so we've got all these stores. We need to staff them. So we'll go over to... Mm, don't need to set storage first. You can set the desired storage load. I think that's fine. So the frozen outlet, we need to have it opening at, I believe, 8 and finishing at 6. We can do a longer one. You can see we can open like at 6. And then when you get the um, the night towers, you can open all night. But I don't think these ones will be open all night. We might have some open all night, like the liquor store and stuff. We might have that. But we'll see how it goes. Over to staff, we will hire a couple of cashiers. So this cashier, this cashier, oh, this cashier. Very good cashier, look. This is uh, Ben Morrison, 67. Very good in cashiering, stock clerking, janitorial work, cooking, and builder rating. Builder, building. Buildings is building. And, uh, yeah, well, we can hire them. And they've got good patience, but very low sociability. So they're not going to be talking to people, which is not good when you have someone at a checkout counter. But... You know, that's what we're going to do. Change over, over to 10 hours. That seems to work. I don't know if there's a problem with that. If we if there is, we'll obviously we'll experience it later on. We'll go to hire another cashier. And there isn't one. And there isn't a good stock look. So it's going to be uh, Victor Raymond, age 37. Hire you as well. And again, same deal. It's 9 till 10. We'll hire a stock. And there we go. That's uh, Danny Lopez, 57. There you go. It looks like Trump. <laughs> and we'll give him... A total of 10 hours worth of work. Which I'm sure we'll sack off after a couple of hours. Right, so there's that sorted. And what we need to do now is set the set the sales uh, in here. So set, set the items in these fridges and freezers. So we'll have on the back milk and dairy as you do. And then next to it we'll probably go for ice cream. Because that's technically dairy I guess. And then we'll have probably... Uh, bottled water then we'll go for 
fresh meat, fresh fish, fresh pizzas, which is in between vegetables and meats, and then finally total vegetables. So there, there is some some elements of order here. Soda, and then juices on the bottom, and then finally we'll have like the special offers. So like, if I go into like I've got a a frozen like food store uh, near my house about 10 minutes walk and it always has like the 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 spe like the special goods or whatever they're trying to sell at the start um and generally it's pizza so we're going to put pizzas in there and then perhaps vegetables because you know trying to encourage people to get some veg into them right okay unpause and there we go not bad that's our outlet hmm right uh what else do I need to do manage go for maintenance center one We've got the generic main centre, but it doesn't matter. We have our janitor. Want them to come in at eight, and f and uh, set ten hours work there, right? There we are, and that should do us quite nicely, right? Uh, just pause it for a second. Go over to build. Go over to road, which we've oh, we've already put that in there. Customer parking will go from here up to how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, five, and then we have loading zone one, and then. Technically, we'll do that one, and then we'll have another loading zone as well. Now, I won't be doing the same thing for this section. What I'll do is probably have a loading zone maybe down this bit. Oh, actually, I might. I might copy the same thing. I might copy it. Actually, I think I will. I think that would make sense. Customer parking along here, and then loading zone top, bottom. And then what that does is I can have an entrance here for my storage, and then this will be the clothing. Yes, we're working it out. Uh, in sp speaking of clothing, there's a research done. I'm currently researching alcohol license. I'm going to skip that for now because I want to go for the clothing supplier and start that research project. 96 hours left in order to get that really finished off. But there you go. That is someone in... Why is Trump just sitting on his phone? Maybe he's tweeting something about fake frozen pizzas anyway uh what else do we need to do we've got that sort we've got that sorted we have cashiers in there in terms of objectives we've got sell 20 different types of products that will be completed once uh, the other items turn up here and then we've got turn a daily profit of a hundred dollars nowhere near that yet uh, hire, uh, have 100 customers on site, nowhere near, and then make 500 total sales, which are on a 332 and going up. Some of these are like ticky box achievements, some of them are not. Some of them are just sort of, it will count up. Oh, there we go. Where's, where's our deliveries? Manage. Oh, that's what I haven't done. I knew I'd forgotten something. Frozen outlet, zone, assigned storage, that one. There we go. Now it is a legitimate thing, and finally. It's getting sorted. Right, excellent. What we'll do, we'll go to build and we'll go to road. And we're going to have a road that runs around the back of the store like this. And then probably in here. And what we're going to do is have garbage pick up on this side and then staff parking up the top. I think that should work. Well, we'll find out, won't we? In terms of profit, it is not. <laughs> Most of our money... Oh, good, there's a lot of money there spent. Um... Most of our money comes from the objectives, which I think is something you get right of the you know, early part of the game. I think that's standard. Uh, what I want to do is go to manage and then go for our maintenance center staff and then hire a janitor once more. And there's only really one person good for janitorial work. Speed, patience, and good social. Really, I don't care about the social. I prefer more speed and patience. So we're going to go for Alfred here, 26. Even though he's slightly less in janitorial skills, uh, we'll actually have him come at, we'll say... Eight, no, sorry, uh, six o'clock at night. So he, he, he cleans up throughout the night. That's the plan. Either way, there we go. Look, we now have people coming in and buying frozen foods and goods and other things like that. It's not frozen because obviously we've got dairy. So, you know, we're not selling like frozen eggs and frozen milk. I don't know of any place that sells them unless there's been a problem with the uh, with the cold storage and it's just went to max temp uh, max. I was going to say temperature. No. the uh, There's been a problem with it, and it's just gone really, really cold. So there you go. There's that sorted. Um, he's on his phone again, just standing there. and Yep. There's a bit of an exchange between him and other people. Let's just move away from that. Right, so day 12. 
in terms of money, it's going right down. Not good. But we will be getting money from this thing. So yeah, sell 20 different types of products. It's currently on 17 of 20. Uh, and the reason for that is I I think I said this uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday I said this in the last episode where I was thinking, hang on, we've got uh, we've got 11 products. Why have we not? Why is that not ticked over? That's because it is sell 20 different types of products. Not, not have, which is what I thought it was. That's what I assumed it's not. You have to actually sell the items. There you go. That's why it didn't work. Right, so research is progressing on quite nicely. Probably got a couple of days in order for that to be completed. We're going to go to build and then to our staff only parking, which will go right at the back here. And then garbage pickup will go on this side. Oh, you can't build there. Oh, that's a shame. It'll be on this side then. That's the only... I don't think we need much more than that. I might make this a bit bigger. I might increase the size of this um, maintenance centre. I think so. I think so. Uh, we haven't yet put the flooring in the frozen goods place. So I will go to build and then over to our floor tiles. And I don't know. Maybe fill? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, there we go. I want to I wanna make sure they've got different floors in because it'll look okay. There we go. And then we'll max speed it. So we've got still uh, sell 20 different products, which we're almost there. Make 500 total sales. We're getting close to this one. That's the janitor. Just make sure this is definitely clean. Clean, 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 must clean, clean. Yeah, that's definitely clean, man. I think you're okay. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. And then, as you can see, look, we've got uh, parking at the top there for our staff. Because we want them out of the way, you see. We don't want them taking up this parking space because if they do take up this these spaces here, for example, what will happen is they'll, well, they'll take it up and that means that actual customers have to come along and park further away, which means they have to walk further, which means they get unhappy quicker, which means they won't stay as long, which ultimately means that we won't be making as much money. Yeah, because capitalism. Oh, that's annoying. Look, that's right next to the bit there and we need a gap in that. doesn't matter. Or maybe it does. I'm probably going to delete this, actually, and put it here. Have a big, bigger maintenance centre, but we'll see. All right, we'll max speed it. Day 13 here. Middle of the night. Lots of parking for all of these. And as you can see, garbage as well has been uh, placed there for our recycling. Good. Not a bad little session of building there. We do have only 119 generic, 1,000 generic units of currency, which is a problem. But that will probably go up as we sell stuff, which is hopefully now. There we go. We've just had one tick over, which is make 500 total sales. Yes, we have completed that. And now we have to make a total of 2,000 sales. Okay. We're still going for the sell 20 different types of products, and it's not there yet. It's getting close, I would hope. If we just need to, just need to tick over. Hang on, that's frozen pizza and that's frozen pizza. Of course, yeah, because we've got some similar ones. Ah, why is it? Is it? Is it that? Is it? It has to be. Because we've got... We've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, no! I might have been wrong, actually. I might have been wrong about that. It genuinely might be sell and just have on the shelves. It doesn't make it clear whether it is actually sell by someone coming along and buying it, and that is a sale, or whether it just have. I'm, I'm leaning towards have now. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know how the world works. Right, over to research. We are close to clothing supply, which is very, very good. I haven't yet got a restroom, which would be useful in having somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, Could we fit another shelf in here? Not really, no. The only other option is that we get rid of a couple of these frozen ones here and sell something else. What, what would fit in the frozen goods store? Um... Cookies and snacks? No, we've already got them. Snacks? No. Nah. Nothing makes sense selling in the frozen goods store. It is the frozen goods store for a reason. Okay. So we've got uh, 129,000. What we'll do then, we will go to build. We'll go over to objects. Scroll down to clothes rack because we've now just got clothing supplier. We are researching alcohol license. That is fine. So this is going to be where our clothes stop, uh, shop will go. So, clothes rack can be used 
to display and sell t-shirts, pants, dresses, shirts, jackets, and coats. So, six items. Uh, a table, which will sell fresh fr fruits and vegetables. Don't want to have a fridge in there. Won't have a shelf in there. No, I don't think so. And we won't need a pallet. So it's just clothes racks. Okay, so if it is a standard uh, two by... Is it a two by one? It is a two by one. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six items. So ideally I'd want... I could have a row like that again. A row like that. Or I could have it so we have a gap all the way around the outside. I like the idea of having a gap all the way around the outside. So that essentially means you need at least four. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So it has to be twelve long. Minimum. Minimum of twelve. Plus this stuff here. This is, why I want, this is why I want a planning tool. So it's a minimum of 12, plus your storage. Say, it's probably going to be the same size as this, to be honest with you. Just a little bit, maybe maybe a bit smaller. Let's go for foundations. And the store's going to be here. So it needs to be a minimum of 12. But I think we'll have it as an 18 by... need to be 14 though you know it could be a lot smaller ah but we have to have we do have to have the um the checkouts and such don't we so if we have two next to each other so it'd be one two three four be seven with a gap around mm. plus the storage but then we'll have it won't be a straight storage it'll be like an l-shaped one on the corner so i reckon we're talking 16 by 14 is about the right size it's actually a little bit oversized but i plan on putting a restroom in this as well so this should be about right Okay, let's just see what happens. Obviously, that's uh, cost us a little bit of money, but, you know, we do have some money as well. So, this will be built. We will then have a staff entrance in the back. This will be our storage. And then we'll have entrance in the front as well. Naturally, we want to build some more road work. We will have a road that comes further down. We'll just put this road in. We do need to connect it up to that one as well at some point. There we are. Uh, still selling goods, which is fantastic. I... I'm probably going to take, uh, spend ages uh, building this. But, you know, it's not too bad. And <laughs> looks like after building a bit of this, they decided, oh, let's just, just do a bit of road as well. Ah, I can't bother. I'm going to build some more foundation. There we go. Uh, I don't think we actually have... Let's just have a quick look. Objects. Uh... You do have plants and stuff, yes. Yes, you can place plants inside and things like that, so you can make it look a bit better. And you can place a fountain. Yes, I thought you can place a fountain outside. And you have an ATM as well, which I never understood what, like, the point in an ATM actually is. I mean, in real life I know what it is, but I don't know what it does in game. I mean, assume it allows people to get money out. We'll put one in here just to, you know, for completionist, a pinball machine. Again, don't really know why there's things like that in here. Water dispensers, plant type bees. No, we're not going to put any of them in. Vending machines. Again, not sure. Paper dispenser. Toilet urinal. I can understand what them are. Right. So we'll pause it for a second. What we'll do, we'll go to uh, checkout counter. And we'll have a checkout counter here, here, and here. All right. And then we will have a... Entrance. Why can't we have it there? Must be placed on a wall. Looks 
pretty much like a wall to me. I mean, I don't know about you, but that looks wallish. No, we'll go there. Uh, we'll have to delete these trees, I would assume. Uh, remove objects. Can we? Yes, we can actually remove the trees. That's good. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to uh, remove those. So. Just thinking here. Objects. Clothes rack. One. Mm. It'll be one. Two. One, two, one, two. And on this side, uh, that's breads. And what else can we have? It's, see, it's a bit too big, actually. I've made this. But this one, ah, that's why. Because these sell men's shoes and stuff. So, I didn't account for that. Okay. Let's have a quick look. I'm just going down the list. Men's shoes, women's shoes, men's underwear, women's lingerie. So you actually need three of these. And it needs to be a little bit bigger. Now, the question is, can we go to build and have... Oh, actually, can we rotate these? No, we can't. What a crying shame. It is a shame, actually. Wish we could. Uh, can we go to foundations? No, we cannot have it. We can't just add a little bit more foundation. That's a shame, because if we could, we'd be able to have it just big enough so they can walk all the way around. Oh, well. Right, build, objects, shelf, one, two, three, and four. And then we need to go to... Build again. Foundations. No, it's not foundations. It's walls. And a wall goes straight across like so. And we actually need a double wall. Which will be... I think probably there. Objects. Staff door there. And a staff door there. And finally a standard door. Probably about here. Okay. There we are. We will then have to go to assign storage, that, pause, restroom, that one, store, that one, manage, store, zoning, name. It's the G... Mm. Clothing outlet. By the way, if I spell one of these wrong, it's not intentional, I'm just... Crap at A, spelling B. Uh, spelling <laughs> spelling B, yeah. What's crap at those in all? Um, also, I'm probably just haven't noticed. Uh, restroom, we... It's going to be the dump station. It's not. <laughs> ah, that's just horrible. Uh, restroom one. This will be storage. Done. Right. So storage, clothing outlet, restroom, that looks about right to me. Okay, restroom, do we need to assign it to anyone? We do not. Fantastic. We do, however, need to go to the clothing outlet. We need to assign storage, that one there. We need to change the opening hours to 8 till 8, 8 till 6. Seems a bit iffy. Like, do we really need it open that long for a clothing one? I don't think really clothing stores open that much but whatever that's what we're gonna have uh we do need to finish off in this restroom um things so we need well a toilet cubicle however we have to be careful because we'll rotate these round like so i might actually move the door across it makes sense moving the door across and then the sink. Ah, see there, that's the thing. The sink needs to be on the wall. So we'll have sinks there and then sinks there. That's about right. Oh, we haven't got urinals either. Okay, maybe. Maybe we can cancel these. We might have... See, this is unisex toilet. But do we have... We could have male and female, couldn't we, really? Either way, I think... Remove that. 
and move that wall a bit. What we'll do is we'll shift it. We'll remove that. Yeah, we'll shift it along. I think so. I think that makes... Yeah, we'll cancel. Right, so we want to move that along by going to build walls. And it will be one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, wall. There you go. Male and female toilets. Uh, naturally, we'll put that in there. We'll go to objects, move up to the door, put a door in there, door in there. Male and female toilet. As I said, it does, the game doesn't have changing rooms, so if nothing else, we can class that as the changing rooms as well. And that would make even a bit more sense than what we've got now. And that's the way I'm legitimizing it. Storage 3 is still in existence, although it's a little bit dodgy. We will go storage and cancel... I'm going to have to actually cancel that. Oh, I've used fill. I should have used draw. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. Oh, well. Uh, change that to storage. It's uh, G storage 3. And over to our clothing outlet. Assign storage that one there. That's fine. We'll go to the assign once more. We want a restroom one. Cancel. I want to fill. See, at least it has these options. Uh, manage, so restroom. So let's. Uh, female. And. Restroom. Male. Okay, so we've got two restrooms. Build. Objects. Down to the toilet cubicles so it's going to be a little bit different in terms of the um, amount of things here what do you need you just need I think it is just a sink uh, cubicles and what not uh, I think you just need a sink and a toilet restroom cubicles and sinks that's all you need that's all you actually need. But we've got things like paper dispenser. But I don't know if you need them in here. What I'll do is I'll put them in any... Oh, it actually cancels something off here. Which is a strange one. Oh, you can still have that there. So, um, it'll be... Same on that side, but the it'll be actually be... That's, look at that, it's cancelling that paper dispenser off. You can't have one. On that side. Oh, that's so strange. Okay. So we'll actually cancel the paper, this paper dispenser off. Then because it's just not working. And probably cancel a couple of these toilets. And it'll be you Rhinal instead. Because this is the male. I'm just going to check. Hang on. Is this, this the right way? Yes, it is. Sinks. One, two, one, two. And actually be three either side, and then perhaps a paper dispenser there. Which can only go on the top, but whatever. Right, done. So there's the restrooms. That should be about right. What we'll do then, we will start sorting this out. So at the back, we will have... We won't have tools. We'll have... Um, mm, women's shoes. Men's shoes. Uh, then lingerie. And then underwear. And then we want t-shirts, pants, shirts, jackets, dresses, and coats. There's no rhyme or reason why I did it in that order. It just it, it, it was that way. Uh, we're, we're, we're researching night hours. And okay, that's fine. And then we'll go for whatever the other ones, luxuries or chemical or things like that. We do need to go to manage and then over to our clothing outlet and obviously hire about two cashiers. We've got a couple of good cashiers here and we'll just make sure that they are starting at 8 and finishing at 10. Hire another cashier and there we go. Same sort of deal, there we are. Hire a stock person, which it'll be you and your hours are the same. And even though we've got, even though we've got three checkouts, um, we we're not putting any in, like any more cashiers, you know, we've only got two here. Just because we don't need to, the stores are not big enough really, which, you know, you, I, I could, if I really wanted to, um, hire more, but we'll see. 
it's just more people might turn up. That's all I'm saying is that the expansion is is necessary. That's a problem. The storage is very small. Look at that. The storage is very, very small indeed. Uh, we might go to manage over to the storage 3, which is this one. Set desired load to probably 90%. Can we fit any more in there is the question. If not, we might have to expand this, but we'll see how it goes. I didn't plan on having two rest rooms. In terms of our cash, we're at 68, obviously losing quite a bit. Uh, objectives are getting there. We're halfway on the 2,000 total sales. The products uh, will be completed shortly because as soon as we get these ones in, that should be done and then we'll hopefully see that daily profit go up. But we will find out next episode because that is us pretty much done. Not a bad bit of building. We do need to put something else back here, which could be... I don't really know. Don't really know. What do you reckon? Oh, there's the research complete. We'll probably go for a... Uh, a restaurant would be quite nice. Bowling and stuff. I think we'll go for... I think we'll go for a restaurant and have a restaurant round the back. Or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Ooh, look. It's actually filling up as well, look. Now. I need to put some flooring in as well, to be honest with you. There you go. People coming and going. Happy days.